Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll teach you a chord progression that I think you'll like, and as the title of this video suggests, feel free to take it away and apply it to whatever you do. And if you end up enjoying it, please let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see more of these chord progression style videos. So what you heard in the intro there was the four chords that we'll be uh, looking at in this lesson. And um, I changed them a little bit and added some little nuances to them to make them a bit more interesting. So the chords are a C major 9, a D sus 2 or D sus 4, this is a D sus 2, D sus 4, E minor 9, and then a G sus 2. This chord progression works well because of tension and release, so we have the build up on the first three chords. This that calls back to the home chord, the G, G sus2. And if I was to quickly play this as open chords, you see how this progression sounds nice. So C major. For the theory behind this uh, chord progression, don't worry, I'll keep it simple, uh, I see this as being in the key of G major, so that means the C chord here is the 4th of G major, so we've got a uh, major 4th, and then we have the uh, D sus 2, which um, this is basically the 5th of G major, so I see this as the 5 chord, so you could play that as a straight major chord like that. And E minor, that's going to be the sixth, built from the sixth degree of G major. And it resolves nicely back to the one, uh, back to G. Wait. Obviously you could just play that as an actual G major chord. And I say it's both important and useful to know this because if you want to change this to a different key signature, which is what you probably should do, otherwise everyone's song's just going to sound the same, then you can just consult this same chord spelling, you know, the 4, 5, 6, 1, and just put it into a different key. So let's say, let's choose A major, so this is going to shift up to the 4th of A, so the A, B, C, D, which is D major, and then we're going to have the 5th of uh, A major, which is going to be the E major chord. And then obviously next we're going to have the 6th, which is going to be an F sharp minor 9 chord. And then obviously back to the 1, the A. And if you're wondering what a sus chord is, because I guess a lot of us are, then uh, I'll quickly elaborate on what one of those are. So basically in a major chord, straight basic major chord, you've got the root, which is the first, the third. Uh, this can either be flattened or just a regular third, and a regular third gives a major tonality, and a flattened third gives the minor tonality as a minor chord. And then you have the fifth degree also in there, so you have a spelling of one three five for major and one flat three five for minor. Uh, applied to the fretboard, if you take a straight A major chord, as you know, this is your third degree here. And if you were to flatten it, to make it minor, then you have minor. But what a sus4 and a sus2 means is we're omitting this third and instead we're bringing it up to the fourth here. So this is the major third, minor third, and this is the fourth. And the same thing for sus2, going to go down, so three, flat three, two. Sus2 chord, Sus4, Sus2, and they have neither this major nor minor quality to them, so they sit somewhere in between. And how to apply these kind of chords is, it's just, I'd say, go feel. So they can, they can replace any basic major or minor chord with a Sus chord, but if it doesn't sound that particularly well in the thing that you're trying to write, then perhaps uh, use the major or minor chord instead. So first I recommend practicing these shapes. And then practice moving between them with strumming. Alright, 
now for the juicy part. Uh, now I'll show you three examples that I wrote using these chord progressions to give you some inspiration and hopefully some motivation to start writing some of your own ideas with this chord progression. The first idea that you hear in a moment, I used a classic kind of mathy kind of groove to it. And then between each chord, I connected them with arpeggios to make it flow nicely. And then I had it added in this natural harmonic that I accented with the drums that you hear, which I think sounds quite nice. <laughs> The second idea is more of a straightforward groove. Uh, you can use this, you'd hear it in like Midwest emo and emo and, and math rock kind of styles. Uh, this is the example that you heard in the intro. And um, the way I approached this one was I used the chord shapes and unlike the first example, I didn't use arpeggio runs in between. I was still holding the chords and adding little extra notes in. I think add this little bit of texture and this bit of flavor. And then I did change this second sus chord uh, it's still a sus chord, but it's not actually the same way as um, you know, I've shown you. So feel free to use this uh, alteration. It was just so I could uh, fiddle with notes a bit more easier on that one. And for the last example, something with a bit more gain and a bit more bite. And um, because I was using quite a lot of gain, I thought, you know, using these chords, it didn't sound so good with lots of gain on them. So I substitute them for either power chords or sus chords, as you'll hear. And I'll have the chords on screen for you. But they sound very nice with a big, thick bit of gain on them, courtesy of the bus. MT uh, Metal Zone pedal, which sounds absolutely awful, but I kind of like it. It's a bit of fun, right? <laughs> That's everything. Um, you'll find tabs and the chords over on my website and there'll be a link down below for that in the description. If you have any questions please leave them below and like I said if you did enjoy this and you'd like to see more chord videos or you have some recommendations how I could uh, you know make these videos better for you or perhaps more accessible then please let me know down below in the comments too. Um, I want to say thanks for everyone's support and especially to the Patreon support. You guys are really supporting me quite financially now which is great and uh, by popular demand and I have an actual new tier on my Patreon page I've given in and I'm finally going to start to do online guitar lessons. The numbers are very limited so if you are interested in that please go and check it out and then uh, we can sort out some times and some dates uh, we can do that for you. If you're interested in any of the gear that I have in this video then I have Amazon affiliate links down below in the description meaning if you click through buying anything from Amazon I get a tiny commission like 5% most of the time and that helps keep my website up and running and also supports this channel of course. And the last plug, sorry, uh, merchandise, I got this new shirt, it's my new logo, really proud of this one, you can see a merch shelf down below for that, but if you can't there's a link down below in the description there, and I do appreciate it if you pick something up, and you can also tag me on Instagram, which many people have done, so I really appreciate it for those people that have done, uh, done that, and also have bought merchandise, my t-shirt, thank you very much. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon, goodbye.